Bill was a 13 year old boy preparing for school camp. Like one in 20 children today, Hamadil suffered from food anaphylaxis. This meant he was prone to severe allergic reactions that could put him in life or death situations. With the number of sufferers increasing by 700% over the last 10 years, Hamadil was not alone. Hamadil never wanted to go on school camp because of his allergies. He'd been to see many dermatologists for the severe skin problems he had, and his parents knew he could only eat a small spectrum of food. Despite this, Hamador went on camp because his school threatened to take 25% of his assessment marks if he didn't. Hamador's mum rang the camp coordinator and notified them that Hamador couldn't eat peanuts. The coordinator removed peanut butter from the breakfast menu, yet nothing was mentioned to any other teacher. Now come day three of the five day camp, Hamador couldn't play any of the outdoor games because his eczema was so bad that once he sweat, it would really burn, sting and itch. After lunch, they went swimming in the pool. Hamador, in his teens, wanting to be part of the group, couldn't because the pool was chlorinated and aggravated his eczema. Come the evening when the students were playing a game where they had to choose one person from each of their groups to go out the front and do a challenge. For the first time on camp, Hamador was able to have fun with his friends. camp, the nighttime challenges included eating a wheat bix or doing so many push-ups. But when Hamadol went up, the challenge was to eat peanut butter off a cork. <laughs> Having been so ashamed of all of his allergies, Hamadol hadn't told his friends about his peanut anaphylaxis. So in support, they cheered him on with the challenge. Now many have said, he was 13, he should have said I can't do this. But think about teens, the need to belong, the need not to be different. For Hamador, this was a risk he took a chance on, to try and fit in. <laughs> 